this embarrassment is too much. Yoruba group distances is safe from Tinumbu shenanigan concerning the statement he made that uh, the they were clerical errors from a Chicago State University concerning his academic records. <laughs> is it not shameful? It's so shameful. Those who have integrity among their tribe, you know, it's always like a in middle contents. It is here in Yoruba local. So they need to talk now because it is embarrassing. So this kind of thing, some people say, oh, don't talk about a tribe or whatever. But that is exactly why this group has come out to say it is really embarrassing for Tinubu to be making this kind of statement. If your hands are clean, why are you hiding your, why are you hiding your academic records? The first was, oh, nobody should be to release uh, your academic records to anybody and you are uh, hiring lawyers here and there going to court just to release your results. If there were clerical errors, why are you telling the university not to release your 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 records? Why? You ought to have told them, said it right from time. I think uh, the so-called uh, lawyers are the ones who are making mockery of Tinumbu himself. First, they didn't agree that uh, he forfeited $460,000. Concerning narcotics and what have you, but later they say, Oh, it happened before. Oh, it was his account that was sued, it was not him in person. I don't understand the nonsense they are talking about. They want to make people go crazy now that we are supposed to the with the the image that we used to have that not even palatable. We are supposed to be getting out of those nonsense now. We are getting deeper at this age and time. We are supposed to be. You know, live above board to leave all those nonsense. But now we are seeing when people are going further in in in, in having good reputation, we have these crops of your politicians, old people for that matter, and these are the same set of people who come and be talking about a uh, younger ones. When we have people like this, when their life has all always been you know criminally inclined, and what do you expect the younger ones to do? They will tell you if you don't have money, hide your face. Irrespective of how you get the money, it is not important in this uh, Nigeria dispensation. Even if a pastor will be coming out and be telling you that uh, what we are seeing, the irregularities we are seeing, it is that is the best thing that will bring succor, that will bring promotion and integrity to the Nigerian system. And then you begin to wonder. Because we can see this is not a spiritual thing that they want to bamboozle anybody with. Kuyin coming out to tell us that uh, the crops of uh, politicians and the Jinumbu himself, they will take Nigeria to a better place. When, right from the day one, he hit the ground running by destroying everything by himself. And they are coming out to blame Atiku and uh, uh, Buhari and uh, Jonathan. You can imagine. And that's why this group has come out to say this this thing is this statement from Tinubu is an embarrassment. Of course, before the lawyers could voice out all these statements. Is in is aware of it. He gave them to go ahead to go and go and tell them this. The same man told Nigerians that uh, his primary and secondary schools uh, certificates that he filled while he was contesting for governorship uh, election that somebody helped him to fill that uh, that form. So he didn't know he had to go and remove it. And he's coming now after many years telling us that uh, it was clerical errors. You see, no embarrassing. And you begin to ask yourself, is it the best that the Yorubas can produce? Tinumbu Abu Ebuari did his own. Was it the best person to have been presented from the north when you have good people, intelligent, and those who really have it, integrity in the north? But you will not see them. They will bring in all, all these uh, rough, rough people. See Tinumbu now. You want to tell me that you don't have a timba and caliber integrity with anything you can think of? In Yoruba land, they have it, but the the the, the useless ones will be the one. They don't have uh, what it takes to maintain integrity, but they just want to do everything in a quick man, quick manner, and they can clear anybody from the road just for them. The real people will not even want to fight for anything. They want to go through due process, but the ones who do not have the quality, they will not have give chance to those who have the quality or the they have the the, the, the integrity or the quality. To be able to vie for any position, and that's why they can. They will use thuggery, they will use bribery, they will use intimidation, every manner of things. They will tell you what uh, money cannot do. More money can do it.
Is it not embarrassing? Who in the recess will want to associate with this kind of a shameful act? Statements coming out from somebody who supposed to be you know you just go and even look at the student. Do they have a good reputation? Is this what they want to they have learned all this ability to be able to manipulate? We have to manipulate, we have to do this, we have to do that. And you want this country to be better. We thought we had seen it all during a worry, not knowing that this one that you think that oh maybe it will even be better, but see the nonsense down from the policies and what have you. Go and check the MBS, the statistics of MBS. They are saying that Nigeria is better than employment rate is fine. They are not jubilating. Is that what it is in reality? The same thing that they talked about during Buhari, everything was fine. Kokori, they say he's a, a former Nupenge chairman. Now joined the APC now. He's telling Nigerians that uh, the, the blame, they should blame, what is it called? They should blame uh, Buhari and Jonathan for the rot that we are experiencing in this country. And meanwhile, when Buhari was a uh, president, there are no bond there where made it to come out. See what Oshomole said again. Are these men of integrity? And they want the young, younger ones to respect them. And some people will not tell you that uh, some, some tribes don't have a, they don't have a respect. Is this, the, what, is this what you call respect in your region, in your tribe? You respect this kind of people? Like I said, it's not everybody that is shameless that will just come and be defending nonsense. And that's why this group are saying, no. Which is highly embarrassing. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.